I have accepted Dr. Swansea's help. I will work at the Pembroke Hospital. I have no choice. The man knows about my condition, about what I have become. A vampire. I can't believe this. I don't know anything about this secluded medical facility. Everybody here will take me for what I am not anymore. Jonathan E. Reed, the famous surgeon. I must lie to them all. To the patients, to the staff. This is my new home. Where I will hide from all who are after me. Where I will hide from everyone till I get a better understanding of what is going on. And where I will cash my sweet XP, which of which I have enough for two more uh, skill ups actually already. This is a city of locked gates. That's a very nice boat. Dude showed up just in time. He knew he knew just when to show up after three days of me resting over and over again and skipping around the time. Well, just one just once since I saw him, I think. The fuck is happening over here? Someone's having a stabbing match. Uh oh. Oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass! Insulting a good Samaritan. Not exactly the way to get rescued. All right, all right, sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor, Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Look at who's enjoying their little, like, double entendres and screwing around of like, ooh. I'll get you to a better place, and then you send you send you to hell. The blood quality indicates, indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. Like, this concept feels like it might be... a little... Hmm. It's not even that much XP, to be honest. 500? That's what I got from, like, the last quest. Once you pump it up, it might be... It, it might not be a linear growth. Maybe when you fill it up, it's a thousand, or maybe it's like two or three thousand. Like maybe it's a non, like maybe it's an exponential growth, and that makes it more worth it. I just can't help but think that like the if they don't give you enough a reward, they might be kind of screwing you over with like giving you very little XP for killing permanent characters as opposed to just grinding random dudes that respawn. In fact, part of me, huh? I can't help but think that maybe your vampire power should come from you being- doing vampire things, like feeding on people, and that normal enemies might, should just be an, op an obstacle in your way, and that actually killing people is the only way to gain experience, and then you have an actual mechanical reason to care about doing that, maybe? As opposed to just grinding or something? Mesmerize. To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them and lead them out of sight from others. Your mesmerized level will be equal- must be equal or higher to the citizen's resistance. Press left- LB to mesmerize clay. Do I not have an option here? He, well, he has hints. I must- so I must be able to- surely I can level him up then if there's more hints in here. What community is he from? Oh, the same as Dr. Swansea. I think I have to? Bring this fading light into the shadows. Dance with him the dance of life and death. Was there anything stopping me from just going this way? And taking him to the doctor? They want me to lead him to the shadows to feed on him. Are you- I'm, wondering, I'm trying to tell if you're required to feed on clay or not for the tutorial. Because I'm definitely in my- my I've lost all control vision mode, like at the beginning of the game. Except he's not- he's not just a circulatory system at the moment. Hey guys. It's gonna need help. 
Hey, y'all. Hey. No? Okay. Well, I tried. Time, time to die. <laughs> I'm not even sure if I'm against killing him. He, I just saw, saw him murder somebody and throw him in the lake. It's just I, yeah, I can make him worth more to me first. But they might just make me go for it here. Maybe that's why his community starts off as healthy. It's so that you can kill him off and then it doesn't... Actually, I wonder if killing him would, would make it more or less healthy as a community, honestly. Ooh. Blood Temptation. Press A to embrace Clay Clocks, or B to release him. Embracing Clay will provide a, max of mass a massive XP boost, but be aware that there will be consequences. Learning more about the citizens and collecting their hints will increase the experience gained. Yeah. No more. Not tonight. Not like this. I will not take another life. Where is he? What am I doing? Weird. Can I just take him over to the doctor? It is wise for the huntsman to sometimes let his prey go. But no famished hunter can run for long. I mean, the, if I let him go, I can come back when he has more... When he's worth more to me. I'm not sure if I should talk to the doctor or not. Part of me feels like I'm missing the dialogue on that ch on the, uh... The staircase, but I also am worried that that would be how you enter the hospital. And maybe you'd miss out on other things. Nope. Oh, that was, a re that was a reflection on the floor. I thought that was an item. Whoa, I feel... giddy. What? What happened? Did I black out? So am, am I not taking him to medical care now? Is it legit not an option to get him medical treatment? Is that actually what's going on? That's weird. That seems to be the case. Gotta check every similar box. Ooh. Musical cue. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised, but I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. Do you think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. An invisible enemy? Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Is there anyone that stands out? 
Well, I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Okay, there we found the menu where you cash in the hint system. No, I'm gonna talk to everyone else first. Give me a minute. Hey, I'm stealing. Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before at the Rockefeller University in New York. Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell in his research about coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now, eminent surgeon and blood transfusion specialist. What is the Pembroke Hospital situation? And please, speak freely. This hospital is not exactly the best of London. I'm sure you are used to working in a better environment. It's more than enough. In any case, the personnel of a hospital are much more important to me than the building. Don't be misled by appearances, Dr. Reed. This hospital does not lack talented people. It just lacks hope. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Your attitude is irresponsible, Doctor. Believe me, I've seen so many medical errors caused by exhaustion during the war. You're right. This is a war, Dr. Reed, and I don't intend to surrender. What can you tell me about the staff in the hospital? Some are really good, and others are not so good. But during this troubled period, there is no time for slander. I prefer to focus on the positive character traits. Tell me more about cherished people, then. Nurse Brannigan is a pearl. She is the most helpful and dedicated nurse I've ever worked with. A clever and cheerful woman. You really seem to admire her skills. I'll go even further. If she was a man, she would be a damn fine practitioner. Any opinion about the management? I don't always agree with Dr. Swansea's reserve, but I must admit he does all he can to keep this facility running during this crisis. Ah yes, the burden of command. I was fed up with this concept while serving as a medical officer. Don't get me wrong. Swansea's a good administrator. I just wish he would get out of his office down again. I missed an opportunity there then, I think. If I had if I had committed to... If I had fully committed to checking out all the information before uh, pressing the hint option, I would have known that Brannigan, somebody that this character specifically has uh, respect for and probably would listen to the information from more... Mesmerize and medical checkup. So there, I'm level one, he's level two. Whoa. Oh, wait, medical checkup is the blood quality? <laughs> what an alarming way to put it. Well, he's actually worth a lot of experience, too. I mean, and I can get more hints still. Do you need any medical assistance yourself, Doctor? Come on, don't be ridiculous, dear colleague. You're exhausting yourself, Corcoran. 
Maybe you should think about preserving your strength. No. We must keep on healing all those poor souls. We are the last rampart before chaos. Once more, unto the breach. Your attitude is irresponsible, Doctor. Believe me, I've seen so many medical errors caused by exhaustion during the war. You're right. This is a war, Dr. Reed. And I don't intend to surrender. Okay. So the option, st the dialogue stays there, but you cannot remake the decision. So it plays out the entire conversation as you did before. Interesting. Should have avoided that for as long as possible. Whoops. Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. I wonder if I can just go right back over here and do something now with you. Oh, she's gone. Spooky. Dorothy, wait it out. Oh, wait, did he just go back in too? Oh, everyone might be going inside now. I want to meet all the people and rob all the patients. Oop. Oh, the gar oh, it is shiny. Okay, I, di I didn't imagine that. Oh no, I'm getting medical supplies out of the garbage, which I will then use. Hope that vampire immune system's up to snuff. Probably is, being vampire. And they've moved on now? Okay. There probably wasn't that much dialogue. They're probably just gonna be, like, doing a throwaway line as an excuse for why they're blocking the doorway, which forces you to- uh, the staircase, which forces you to go the other route and encounter the potential, uh, victim where they introduce the mechanics. Is this my chance to just take off? Do I just have- Scowl voices in the garden. I should investigate. If they were to find somebody. In the garden. Where the hell's the garden? So I seem to just have open world access right now. Despite the fact that somebody's politely waiting for me. <laughs> Poor person. Poor Dorothy. Where's the garden? There's Scal in the garden. Those are vampire hunters. Stop right now. You don't see me. Oh shit, they're level 10. That's probably not the best plan. I wonder if they react to me eating... Do you see that? I have this thirst for blood. Do you see that when I do that? Yum 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 yum. Alright, you didn't take that very well. Oop. Turns out being level 10 might not be the biggest deal ever. Uh, only 10 experience. Okay, so the- the large amounts of experience I was getting before must have been from quests, right? That must have been quest progress, because killing those enemies gave me 10. So th that makes- okay. Getting 10 experience from those guys increases the value of getting like 1200 from a, a person, for example, then. That makes more sense. I was a bit I was a bit concerned that the numbers might not play out very well. But I think it was just- I was playing combat levels and interpreting that as being where my reward was coming from, but I think the big boosts were coming from... ...actual quest progress. Quarantine. Contagious disease. One shall enter or leave quarantine area without written of the lo local authority. An authorized employee of the- shall alter, destroy, or remove this card. Violating the regulation will be fine. Great. Very readable. God, there's so many bodies everywhere. Don't know what those are, but I'll take them. Oh, they're just around, like, everywhere. Okay. And that's a hideout? So the hideouts are everywhere, too. I cannot enter. Oh. Doesn't- but just because they're there doesn't mean you can use them. I'm gonna go back to where I heard the sound. 
I kind of thought that I might have taken a side turn while, and then the sound wasn't relevant to the exact direction I was standing in, but I think it must be around here. I just didn't see anything that resembled a garden to me. Oh, there's the hospital. A side path. My chance to check around back here. Nope. The herd skull in the garden, yep. Hey you, could you stop doing that? Are there more? Yes. No, stop. Ah! You reached more than I thought. Oh, this one's way more- oh, because he's immune- not immune, but way more resistant to shadow. Oops. Hello. Destroy barrels! This is kind of a problem. It's just straight up monsters in the- sh in the hospital. Photography in a wallet. A photography. Did they, they did they call it back then that? A photography? Of a smiling and loving couple with a few words written on the back. Milton and Pipa forever. Or Pipa. Oh. New investigation. Midnight in the garden of good and evil. Bring the wallet to its owner. It seems they might not have caught anyone. Seems like that might be medical waste of some kind that they were going after. So maybe no one died yet. I'm- I'm there now. Being very rude today. Just ignoring the person that's here to- to, to get me. Hello. Can't go that way. Ah, better sign. Nope, different one. Qu quarantine, influenza, keep out of this area. By order of Board of Health. Health officer. And it was John that signed it. So they quarantine people in the chambers. Is this one damaged in the same- it is, it's damaged in the same spots. That's suspicious. They give you plenty of opportunities to just grab little things here and there. I'm gonna have a hell of a time trying to keep this environment straight, though. It's very eye-catching and pretty, but it's also... ...a little samey. With the... Well, it's because it's a city. <laughs> a bunch of similar buildings, buildings in the dark. Can't open that one, can't open that one. And that's the garden again. Oh, there's more. But wait, there's more. Just what I need. Ow. Mix my buttons up pretty bad there. Like, really bad. There we go. I messed up bad. You can heal. You can heal with a surprisingly small amount of meter left. What do you got for me up here? Can I climb through windows and be ultimate creeper man? Can I teleport up there? Maybe you can open the window at some point? Can't break it. Not the best- that's not the best behavior for my first day at work, is it? Trying to break windows. Fighting in the garden. Nope. Oh, hey. I assume these shops must open at some point. Actually, no. I mean, presumably they open at some point, but I might always be here at, at, at the day time. What was that? C. 
serious. So stable, healthy, serious. Stable. So this place is of lower state. Whitechapel. So the regions are the docks, Pembroke Hospital, Whitechapel, and... Huh? Something else. Wasn't Whitechapel where the Jack the Ripper murders happened? Or am I mixing up with something else? Could be something else. What's that? Oh, a hideout, a hideout I've previously found. Let's not deviate too much more. Let's, let's find my way back to the front gate. Who are you? Good evening. I'm Dr. Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor, too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Jadana. Now, I'm just Mr. Jadana, pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. But I used to be a real doctor. Do you need medical attention? I'm feeling all right, doctor. But perhaps it is because I, too, am used to the smell of the dead. Boy, oh boy, look at that. Oh yeah, level 4 mesmerized to get a significant spike of experience compared to what we've seen so far. And I, and I can make it even higher. Are you afraid or uneasy being surrounded by so many corpses? Why should I? These bodies are empty vessels. Flesh left to decay. Poof. No soul anymore. All gone. An interesting point of view. And quite an exotic one, too. Most people fear, or at least have a respect, for dead flesh. Sir, as a medic during the war, I learned to face my death and the death of others. It's the pain we have to tame, not death itself. How did you get this job? After I left the army, I worked as an undertaker down by the docks. A dangerous place with many an unpleasant business there. Milton Hooks helped me get a job here. Do you work here alone? Yes, very easy work, sir. All I have to do is watch a few bodies. The situation was very different when the main morgue was still open. Why do you have to watch these bodies? Because these poor fellows have no names. We keep them in case someone comes looking for the missing. Sadly, very rarely happens. Why close the hospital's main morgue? It was for sanitary reasons after the beginning of the epidemic. Cadavers had to be moved to the nearest mass grave. Have we met before? I don't think so, sir. Why? When we first talked, you said you were glad to meet me since I was reported dead. Funny story, sir. Your sister came here a few nights ago. You were missing, and she was looking for your body. She must be very relieved now. Oh no. Oh no. A pawnbroker? I expect you get all types of people here. Yes, sir. All kind of people. For I sell all kind of goods. Who comes here to trade with you? It's very unhygienic, even unsafe. Diseases can spread. For the customers, for the hospital. I'm very cautious, sir. I've been a doctor, remember? And all my clients are good people. In fact, I think I only know good people. What kind of goods? With the quarantine, it's not always easy to buy things. So I trade, I exchange. Some people sell, some others buy. I like to help.
Rakesh is not afraid of death since he has served as a medic. It does say that it's influenced by the number of hints you gather. Yep, it's already up to 3,000 now. God damn. What was it a moment ago? Was it 2,000, 2,500, 1,500? It definitely wasn't 3,000 a second ago. Since you're not afraid of dying, do you believe in life after death, Rakesh? No. I believe we must do all the good we can while alive. For our time is short, and the obstacles are endless. Do you think you would enjoy immortality as a concept? I don't think so. Don't mistake me. I love life, and I'd like to live a long life. But everything has to decay, sir. Even goodwill. Do you really believe goodwill cannot last? As I said, sir, everything decays. If I was to never die, goodness, I would be bored or worse. And I like to be helpful, sir. Quite depressing, wouldn't you say? Yes, but the good news is we'll all die before losing our humanity, sir. So you're ready to die? No, I'm not. I don't fear death, for I won't see it. What troubles me is the pain my death will inflict to those I know. You're a wise man, Mr. Chidana. No, Dr. Reed. I am a foolish man. But I like to think otherwise. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curios, really. But I'm sure they can be useful. Three options. Codeine, opium, an enigmatic formula. What? Formula written on a piece of paper that seems complex and needs to be analyzed. Don't know what that is, but it's kind of exciting. Boop. Yay, goodbye all of my money. Hope it's neat. Hope it's really neat. I'm gonna, I'm gonna rob you real quick. It's locked. Never mind. Because that's kind of hard to rob you. Because you learned what keys are. Managing a train terminal, not a morgue. Well, that's depressing. 